With an estimated over 100 million smartphone users and still counting, it's really not a surprise that the IDC data shows Nigeria top smartphone shipments into Africa. Ziggy Ibe has been dealing in ICT products, including smartphones in Nigeria's biggest ICT market, the Computer Village in Lagos, for several years now. He says the demand for smartphones is rapidly increasing. Some of the smartphones' uh, demand is basically because of the, 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 their video quality, because of their, their connectivity ability to, to connect to your business partners out there. Okay, so yes, the other the smaller phones are still in, in the market, but their demands are becoming too low because there is nothing much they could do as compared to the smartphones. City experts say prices at the heart of the increasing demand for smartphones in Nigeria, and they attribute that to cheaper smartphones from Chinese brands, which are now the market leader in the country. We've been able to discount the prices of the highly known brands, uh, and I don't want to mention their names, uh, by a factor of 45% in terms of pricing. And this has made it uh, accessible to those that are previously feature-owned phone users to the smartphone uh, uh, users and uh, since it's their first time of using the smartphones uh, they obviously are very price conscious and because the Chinese type phones and devices have been able to address the affordability there's been a notice ramp up in uh, the number of smart devices that are in country. One Chinese brand that has quickly established itself as the dominant player in Nigeria's smartphone market is Transion, with its popular brands Techno and Infinix. Ibe says the demand for the brands is indeed high. Techno and Infinix are taking the lead because they are affordable, okay? And they can equally give you uh, what you can do with the little amount you use in, in getting them. Uh, it's evidential, you know, in all the places you go. With Nigeria set to roll out the 5G network, ICT experts are forecasting increased broadband penetration and smartphone usage in the country. That means that uh, we have to spend more on Forex, which is not such a good thing for Nigeria. Um, obviously, uh, if we are able to um, support and promote uh, local brands, uh, and I'm referring to Techno, for instance, and Afri One, um, then there'll be less dependence or requirements for Forex to uh, to be used to import these phones. So uh, what we need to do is really uh, establish locally assembled or locally manufactured devices in Nigeria. We have a very large population and it's going to continue to grow. As smartphone sales continue to rise, demand for future phones which used to dominate the market here is dropping. The IDC data shows future phone shipment into the country dropped by 6.4% in the second quarter of 2021. So it might just be a matter of time before smartphones completely take over the market here.